Hello everybody, how's it going? Ben Gothard here. And today I want to do another video talking about how to write a book. So just in case you haven't been caught up on what I'm doing lately, uh, I'm writing a, a new book, a really big book, uh, a book that I'm super excited about. Um, and, and this book is actually about writing a book, right? So, so uh, it's, it's a little bit different from the books that I normally do. Normally I do like entrepreneurship, self-help stuff. So this time I wanted to actually do a book about writing a book, right? Because I've written, I've actually published about 15 books now. Um, you can go search it on Amazon. You can go check it out. What's up, Josh? How's it going? Cause, um, you know, I'm, I'm not bullshitting you right now. So I actually want to take you through the process of writing a book, right? From start to finish, what I do in order to actually write a book. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about was mindset, right? That's the part one of this video, uh, I'm sorry, of the book is mindset. Uh, and, and I'm gonna go chapter by chapter on what I'm gonna talk about in, in, in the book. And as I'm going through each part, each chapter, you're actually going to see that these pieces of the book are coming together in front of your eyes. Okay, so so as I'm doing these videos, these are actually the things that I'm going to put into the book. So you're you're seeing firsthand what's going into this book, right? So what I want to talk about today, on chapter two, is that a book is tough to get where you want. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is first off, there are a ton of steps to writing a book, right? From whether it's getting your mindset right, to picking a topic, to figuring out, you know, doing all your research, starting to write, actually finishing to write, getting it edited, getting a cover made, all the pictures, the illustrations, the formatting, the marketing, the sales, the publishing, all of these things, there it's tough, right? It's tough to write a book, right? So so as part of the mindset of writing a book, I think it's important that we get it ingrained in our heads and, and we become okay with this fact very early on that there are a ton of steps to writing a book and a book is tough to get where you want, right? Now I wanna quote um, uh, another author by the name of Dorothy Parker who is a poet, short story writer, and satirist and, and she says, I hate writing, I love having written, okay? And I think that's powerful to keep in mind throughout this process because there are a ton of steps that you're gonna to have to do right there there's just a lot of things that go into writing your own book right and and just like building your own business or doing something else that's very meaningful in your life there's just a lot of things you have to do and you have to be able to stick it out till the end okay so when Parker says, I hate writing, I love having written, I think that's really powerful because it really conveys how tough it, it is, right? And, and she's a very um, accomplished writer and she doesn't like writing, okay? And, and she says she hates writing, but she loves having written. And I think that's really powerful, right? Because regardless of what it takes to get there, once you do get there, it's going to be worth it. And to have had put in that work and that effort, you're going to be glad that you did later on. And it's going to come back to pay you dividends once you finish writing it. Okay? So that's the first point I want to make. That there are a ton of steps to writing a book, but it's worth it. Right? And, and it's tough to go through all these steps because it is somewhat of a long and arduous process. It's a difficult process. And if you want to write a book, that's the process that you're going to have to take in order to get there, in order to have a finished product that you can tangibly hold in your hands, a book that you have written. Okay? So the second part that I want to touch on is that there's a lot of back and forth when it comes to getting a book where you want. Now, what do I mean by that, All right? Well, there are many different moving pieces of the book, right? Depending on whether you're fiction or nonfiction, there's different characters, plot, setting, all these different things. Or if you're more nonfiction, more what I tend to stick to is, you have to know what you're talking about, right? You have to have either done it, you have to have either experience to draw on, 
or you have to have done ample research in order to pull from, right? And you need to cite your sources, you need to do all these things. Well, bringing a book together and putting together all the different pieces of a book that you want to put together, there's a lot of back and forth, right? You may write something that on Monday you're like, this is gold. This thing that I'm writing, this is pure gold. Everybody's going to love this this one line that I wrote. Okay? The the next day you might wake up and you might say to yourself, "Wow, this is an absolute load of horseshit. This is terrible. Why did I think this was a good thing?" Right? So, there's a lot of back and forth when it comes to writing. Okay? And and I think you'll find that as you're going through this process of writing more and more, you're, you're getting into the flow of doing it and every day you're putting forth effort and you're building this masterpiece of yours, you're going to find that as you go through it and, and as you build up your confidence with writing, then there's going to be a little bit less back and forth because you, you've thought through these things before. Okay, And so again, I want to quote another author on on this point of that there's a lot of back and forth right and and the the gentleman that I want to quote goes by the name of Ellie Weisel uh, he was a Jewish Holocaust survivor and an author and he actually uh, a lot of his work is based off of his experiences in uh, the concentration camps and and he says that uh, acutely aware of the poverty of my means language became obstacle at every page I thought that's not it so I began again with other verbs and other images no that wasn't it either but what exactly was that it I was searching for it must have been all that eludes us hidden behind a veil so as not to be stolen usurped and trivialized words seemed weak and pale now he, he's, he's very uh, you know uh, well spoken and, and I very much like how he put that but but to me that means that just because you write something one day does not mean that that thing is going to be what you actually want to publish it does not mean that what you wrote today is actually going to be what is is published on that thought right and and I'll give you an example outside of writing a book and then I want to tie it back into writing a book Let, let's talk about building a business right just because you build a sales script for one of your salespeople on Monday does not mean that you have to use that same sales script in the next two years. In fact, if you are, either that's the best sales script that has ever been created on the face of the planet, or more likely you improved and you got better and you built on that sales script and you, you're addressing more common questions and you're figuring out what works and doesn't work. Right? So don't be afraid to go back and forth. Right? It's, it's good. It's a process. Just because you write something does not mean that that thing is etched in stone. In fact, most of the time, it's not going to be because you're going to have to go back. You're going to have to edit it. You're going to have to do things to improve your book, improve your writing, and improve the title as a whole. So, yeah, there's a ton of steps. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of back and forth. A book's not easy to write. A book is tough to get where you want. That's, that's what this whole entire chapter is about. So, you know, we talked about those first two points, and, and I want to say uh, a third point. You have more to say than you think. The trick is to cut down the stuff you don't want and only leave the very best. Okay, and this is something that I struggled with in the beginning. Right, because in the very beginning, I was struggling to get out everything that I wanted to say. I had so much to say, I didn't know where to start. And when I did start, I was like, wait a second, I actually don't have that much to say. Right, but then I started to write and I started to do to speak more and do videos and, and just keep putting myself out there, keep researching, keep learning, keep giving. And I unlocked again all those ideas and it just started pouring out onto the page. And for my first book, for example, CEO at 20, uh, before I got it edited and before I had other people look at it, that book was probably around 55 pages, right? After having edited it and, got, and gotten people to look at it and really strip it down to the very best, 
it's now around 35 pages, right? 35 to 40, depending on the on the print. So what's interesting is that it's kind of like a roller coaster. At first, you have a ton to say. You have so many ideas, and then you start writing, and then you kind of run out of ideas in the beginning, and you're like, you kind of have writer's block, and then you you hit this point of where you're really comfortable doing it, so you have all these ideas again, and then you end up with this product, this, this draft, where you have so many ideas down and so many things that you have on this piece of paper or, or on a Word document, wherever it is that you're writing, and then you actually need to go back and cut down on those things that you put in. Right, so it's really interesting that you absolutely have more to say than you think, and the power of writing is is the power of actually cutting down those things that you don't need and leaving only the very best. Right, so so the idea is to put it all out there, just kind of do a brain dump and get as much out there as you possibly can, and then strategically cut down on those things that either you don't need, you could say better, they're just extra words that don't add any meaning, they don't add any value to the audience, right? And so it's important to know that it's okay to put down stuff that you're not sure if it's going to go in the final copy. You know, you, you don't have to be so perfect in your own head when you're getting started. In fact, it's almost better if you just kind of blab it all out there and just just put out as much content as you can and then come back later and edit it refine it make it sound nice make all the pieces work together there's gonna to be a ton of moving parts and really focusing on finding the diamond in the rough right because there's gonna be a lot of rough I'm telling you unless you're just an incredibly gifted writer and the things that you say and write from the beginning are pure gold and nobody needs to edit it, which maybe 0.01% of the population can do that, if that much, you're going to have to refine and you're going to have to edit and you're going to have to cut down on the things that you're saying and that you're putting out there. And that's okay, right? And, and that's the point that I want to make specifically is that it's good to put out all those things and again, chop it down. So, uh, you know, I, I want to talk about now repetition 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 because writing is very very repetitive you're gonna get up you're gonna start writing you're gonna write a certain amount of words you're probably gonna read what you've written before or have some brainstorming session and then you're gonna come to a point where you're like I'm tired of writing today I can't write anymore today I, you know, I need to go run errands whatever you need to do and you're going to put it down, you're going to pick it up the next day, you're going to do the same thing. And it's going to take a long time of doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. And then eventually, you're going to have this incredible masterpiece, right? But, but if you're not okay with that repetition, and you get bored easily, or you can't stick with things, and you don't finish it out, you're going to have a really hard time putting together your title. And, and truly presenting to the world... Uh, the quality with which you are capable because you are very capable of, of putting out quality work you are absolutely capable of putting out high quality work but it's about every single day repetitively putting that out there and just trying again and again and again and writing again and again and again when I first started writing I was not nearly as strong of a communicator as I am now right and, and that makes sense I was practicing my craft I was honing my craft right so in the beginning the things that I wrote they're probably not too good right but I kept at it I kept writing now I've always known and, and been comfortable with my ability to write as an individual from an early age now I kind of enjoyed it but even if you didn't really enjoy it growing up that doesn't mean that you don't have a talent for it, you don't have a knack for it, and that you can't develop that talent over time. But the only way that you can do that is by every single day showing up, every other day showing up and writing and writing and writing. It's repetitive. It's absolutely repetitive, but you know what? It's worth it. And so once you get it in your mind that, okay, I'm in it for the long haul. I'm going to do this every single day. I'm going to get up. I'm going to write. I'm going to do whatever I need to do to get those words on the page and you just accept that it's going to be repetitive all right great you got that part of your mindset done you move on you know start thinking about the the stuff that's important get get the creative juices flowing
right? But it's important at the very beginning to really be real with yourself, to really be real with yourself, to be truthful to yourself, to understand that, hey, this is going to take me a long time. This is going to be a tough process. Do I have what it takes to stick it through? And you know what? You absolutely do have what it takes to see it through. Chris, what's up, man? Very glad that uh, that you jumped on uh, jumped on the uh, video right now, and I appreciate the comments. And you're right. You know, um, if if you're if you're determined to write another book this year, you can do it. You are right. You're absolutely correct in that. Just know it's gonna be it's gonna be repetitive. Right, it's gonna be repetitive, and so every single day, just keep on working at it, keep on doing it, and and keep on pushing through. Right, so again, the the few points that I wanted to make so far were that one, there are a ton of steps, a ton of steps when it comes to writing a book. Two, there's a lot of back and forth when it comes to writing a book. Three, you have more to say than you think. And the trick is actually to cut down the stuff that you don't want and only leave the very best. Fourth, repetition, repetition, repetition. Writing a book is a monotonous, tedious process that you're going to have to give it your all every single day. And you're going to have to put forth an incredible amount of time in order to build something that is the quality that you are not only capable of, but that you deserve to put out in your name, right? Just because you put down words on a page doesn't mean those words should be in your final published book. But the fact that you're every single day putting out those words, that's what's going to allow you to find that quality, right? To, to sharpen that axe, to make this thing that you're doing, this book, this or, or even this business that you're building, to make it into the thing that you want to make it, it's going to be repetitive. There are going to be things that you're going to have to do day after day that you're not going to want to do. I mean, I don't want to necessarily wake up every single morning and just write the, the day away. I want to go outside and play basketball, you know, hang out with my friends, play video games, do whatever it takes. But you know what? I made a commitment to myself and to you folks that I'm going to write this book. And then I'm going to continue writing and teaching and helping and, and, and doing the things that I need to do to add value to the community. So I'm going to hold true to that commitment. I'm going to do the things that I said that I was going to do, right? So I bust my ass every single day to put out content, to keep writing, to keep trying to give to you in order to allow you to succeed. Because at the end of the day, I want you to succeed. I want you to be successful. Because I think not only are you capable of being successful, but you owe it to yourself to try, right? There's nothing that's stopping you from doing the things that you want to do in life, and you absolutely deserve the shot, okay? So the last piece of this puzzle, and it, it's, it's kind of similar to number two that there's a lot of back and forth, but at the end of the day, you're going to have to realize that you are constantly going to be changing. You're going to be rearranging, shifting, cutting, pacing, starting, stopping, restarting, re-restarting in or on this journey, right? This is a journey. Writing a book is a journey, and it is a journey that you are on in part by yourself because there's nobody that can make you get up every day, but also in part not by yourself. There's a community of people. There are other authors, right? We all know what you're going through. We're, we're doing it too, right? And, and you know, I'm always here for you. You can always reach out to me. I'll, I will always try to be your support, and I will always have your back. And any questions that you have, I'll, I'll be here to answer them. But you, you don't have to go through this entirely alone, right? And, and that's what I think is one of the really comforting things about doing something as powerful as going on a journey like this, of, of writing a book yourself, of building a business that you've always wanted to build, of training for a marathon, right? There are other people who are going through the very same things that you're going through, and most of the time those people are going to be willing to help out. So at the end of the day, is a book 
tough to get where you really want it to be before you publish it? Hell yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. A hundred percent. A book, writing a book and getting a book ready to be published is tough. It is hard. It is difficult. There's no sugarcoating that. Is it possible? Yes. Is it possible for you? Yes. Absolutely. There's nothing that can stop you. When you get it in your mind that you want to do this thing, that you want to take this journey, that you want to write this book or build this business or build the life of your dreams, and you commit yourself to that vision, there's nothing that can stop you. There's nothing that can stop you. And in fact, there are tons and tons of resources out there for you to help you succeed, right? This video, for example, is a resource for you to help you succeed to help you get the things in life that you want to get because at the end of the day that's my goal is to help you become successful to help you reach the height that you can reach to help you unlock your potential right so so there's nothing that's truly stopping you from writing this book from building this business okay and I think at the end of the day if you're truly honest with yourself then you know that it's true and I know that it's true in my own life. You know, for, for a long time I had limiting beliefs and, and I probably still do to some degree that I'm just not aware of. But we all have limiting beliefs. We all struggle with those things. And it's a constant battle. It's a constant battle of saying, hey, I'm going to get up in the morning, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put myself out there. I'm going to write this book. I'm going to build this business. But you can do it. And if you attach that journey to your identity, there's absolutely nothing that can stop you. So I want to thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.